Recently, the leader of domestic AI chips reported that it has received 5,000 sets of orders for AI chips, which highlights that domestic companies have replaced NVIDIA's chips with its AI chips. The result is that NVIDIA's AI chips have severely degraded performance, and they have not lowered their prices. Domestic companies are unwilling to get used to it. NVIDIA's AI chips are undoubtedly the best AI chips, which is why NVIDIA's AI chips occupy most of the global AI chip market. With the strong domestic demand for AI chips, NVIDIA's AI chips have become popular. However, American chip companies are always unable to help themselves when selling chips. In 2022, the United States asked NVIDIA not to sell high-end AI chips to China. In desperation, NVIDIA castrated part of the performance of high-end chips to comply with U.S. export control requirements and launched AI chips A800 and H800 customized for the Chinese market. China companies have chosen to accept it, and in 2022 it was even reported that Chinese companies would purchase 5 billion US dollars in AI chips from Nvidia. However, the United States is still dissatisfied. Since the second half of last year, US Commerce Secretary Raimondo has repeatedly criticized Nvidia. In desperation, Nvidia can only further castrate chip performance. It is reported that the latest AI chip H20 customized for the Chinese market only has 20% of the performance of the standard version. However, the price of a chip with such severely emasculated performance still does not drop. NVIDIA dares to do this because it believes that it is irreplaceable. After all, NVIDIA's chip performance is stronger and the CUDA ecological monopoly is the reason why it dares not to reduce prices even if it castrates performance. However, the reality is different from its expectations. China's AI chips quickly gained acceptance. A few days ago, media reports pointed out that domestic technology giants have received orders for 5,000 sets of AI chips. This means that NVIDIA has lost 5,000 orders. It seems that the number of 5,000 sets of chip orders is not large, but if you know how expensive NVIDIA's AI chips are, it will you will understand how big a blow it is to NVIDIA. NVIDIA's high-end chip A800 is priced at 100,000 yuan, and H800 is priced at 260,000 yuan. This means that an order for 5,000 sets of chips will cause NVIDIA to lose up to 1.3 billion yuan, and this is just the beginning. As more customers adopt it, this this impact will expand, causing more companies to adopt domestic AI chips. Another advantage of NVIDIA is ecology. The so-called ecology means that NVIDIA's CUDA platform has been used before, and more people are using it. Various software is optimized based on CUDA, so companies have always used NVIDIA chips. However, domestic AI chips have gained ground. If shareholders and customers adopt it, NVIDIA's ecological monopoly will be broken, and once this ecological monopoly is broken, it can never be regained, and the resulting market losses will be long-term. This is what NVIDIA is more worried about. NVIDIA is aware of this danger, 
so it has always emphasized the need to maintain shipments to the Chinese market. If it loses the large market of China, it will not be able to find an alternative market. The Chinese market has contributed nearly tens of billions of dollars in revenue to NVIDIA, and its market size is one of the largest. Big Beyond Imagination There are too many American chip companies that have similar feelings to NVIDIA, including in the radio frequency chip, analog chip industries, etc. The United States thought that preventing these chip companies from selling chips to China would prevent the development of Chinese manufacturing. As a result, after three years, China the development of these chips forced U.S. chips to be sold off at 90% price cuts, which they regretted. NVIDIA was worried that it would make the same mistakes as these U.S. chip companies. In addition, American chips no longer have an absolute advantage. Domestic chips including Alibaba Pingtouge, more Thread and other companies have demonstrated their advantages in performance, power consumption and cost. If the gap is small enough, then why would China place orders with American companies over the near and far? Now, more and more Chinese companies are choosing to rent AI computing power and use cloud services in order to avoid various sudden restrictive policies from the U.S. government. Moreover, the future development direction will also focus on more cost-effective AI applications, rather than developing large language models by ourselves. This step is very smart. The United States banned the sale of chips for a while and banned the sale of manufacturing equipment for a while. Well, now, China just doesn't have to do it. All roads lead to Rome, and the Earth can continue to move without anyone. At the beginning, the U.S. government thought that it could shut down China's semiconductor industry by issuing a few bans. In the end, it begged them to buy chips, and they could make money while hindering the development of Chinese companies from time to time. But they did not expect that this self-imposed palace strategy failed. This series of bans inspired China's fighting spirit. In order to reduce its dependence on imported chips, the Chinese government increased its support for local semiconductor companies and independently developed the pace continues to accelerate. Although there is still a certain gap between technology and top international companies, it is shrinking at a speed visible to the naked eye. Speaking of which, I really want to thank the United States. If it weren't for your saucy manipulation, China might really not know that it can be so strong.